conversation is about the true story of how they came about making the film Mary Poppins. Now, Pia Travers is the woman who wrote Mary Poppins and when Walt Disney's daughter read that book, she tried to convince her father about how he should make it into a movie. It took Walt Disney 20 years to convince P.L. Travers that he would keep to the uh, originality of her book and that he wouldn't take away from the true story and that she should give him the rights to make the movie. Now, she was a very, very difficult woman. By the way, Emma Thompson plays her role and she's done such a brilliant job. And she's kind of like a little mean and rigid and strict. But she comes from a really, really difficult childhood. And that's where you start realizing that Mary Poppins is really a product of a very difficult time in P.L. Travers' life. Now, Walt Disney is played by Tom Hanks and he again has done such a great job. But because the film was produced by Walt Disney Studios, I think they've also tried to make him this really cheery, nice, kind person. And if you really go into the history of Walt Disney, apparently he wasn't such a nice person. Um, but that aside, when you watch the movie, it brings back such, such wonderful memories. Should you see Mary Poppins or should you have not seen Mary Poppins before you watch this film? Yeah, it kind of helps because there are those few moments where, you know, they start talking about supercalifragilisticexpialidocious and you're like, oh, that's where they got that idea from. Or like the spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. I like those little scenes, you know, because I, there was little squeals of joy coming from me and I started thinking about the film Mary Poppins, which I loved as a child, by the way. Um, yeah, so the thing is that in the movie, Walt Disney has this brilliant line, okay, which is this. This is what we storytellers do. We restore order with imagination. And it's this line that really gives you the crux of the film. Creative people, people who sit and write and paint, a lot of the things that they do and their art that they depict, is it things that happen to them in real life or is it only from their imagination? And that's that fine line which makes you wonder, you know, which of the two it is. Travers came from a really difficult childhood. Uh, Colin Farrell plays her dad and he's done such a brilliant job. For me, actually, he is like one of my favorite characters, even though he is completely fucked up. But <laughs> he's done a really good job. And Walt Disney also came from a very difficult childhood. And then it kind of makes you think, right? Like, was Walt Disney trying to compensate for something that went wrong in his childhood when he created this entire gigantic kingdom sparked from all parts of the imagination? So, yeah, it gets, it really does get you thinking. If you're the kind of person that gets really teary-eyed in the middle of a movie or at the end of a film like I do, I would suggest you carry a hanky for this one. It's called a Saving Mr. Banks and um, let me know what you think about it. I would also love to hear if you have some really nice offbeat suggestions. Leave them in the comment section below. Do subscribe, do share and welcome to the tribes, buddy. This is an amazing place to be. I'll catch you soon. Ciao. Depression is much more than just disappointment or a negative thought or even a chemical imbalance. And you're like, whoa, the queen, did she just actually do that in the tennis court in front of everyone? Yeah, she did.